No, Desmond, it's, it's a disappointment, too. It was a really good year. You know, I, there's no way if you're, you know, having a balanced approach to it that you can say, you know, winning the Big Ten two years in a row, being Ohio State two years in a row, where it took so long to get there, where it was climbing for so long, um, that you can, you know, call it a failure, right? I can't even get close to doing that. Maybe a slight disappointment. And I can only say that because of the opponent that, you know, you probably lost to because you still feel like you were the better team. Um, so, you know, it's a mix of emotions, um, you know, by no means, it's just something to, you know, hang your head low, uh, as a Michigan fan, um, you know, last two years, you've proven that you're, you know, you're one of the, you're one of the, the you know, top teams in the country. You are now, um, on the biggest stage, you have performed well, but you have proven that you're more than good enough to get there. And, um, you know, that there is something to be said about that. So, you know, you, you take a couple of days, you let the emotions kind of die down a little bit. Um, of course, once the, the national championship game happens, you know, you'll start to feel those emotions again. At least I will, because you're going to watch that game feeling like, you know, man, you know, um, we should be there, especially if somehow TCU pulls the upset. You know, you feel like, man, you know, maybe we could have won the whole thing. Right. You'll really feel like a missed opportunity there. So um, I think that's kind of the, the just the feel. I think if, if TCU wins it all, I think that's going to make it really – I think that's going to change it. Like, I, I don't think – I oh, don't for think sure. you'll feel the yeah. same, you know, a, as you do today if, if you know, chalk serves. I think Georgia's favored by double digits. But if Georgia just wins the game and, and you know, it's what everybody expects, I think that won't be too bad. But if TCU somehow pulls a, a miracle upset – and I don't care how it looks, even if it looks bad – right. I, I think that right. would change it quite a bit of the the feeling. Of oh yeah! Like, oh my goodness! Like no, this, we was, blew it. We blew it. A really good like, opportunity. And, and think of think of our continuous conversation throughout the year and the season of it's wide open this year. You know what I mean? Like this. Right. Like yes, we. I think everyone agreed Georgia was the best team for for most of it, but Georgia right. wasn't the the dominant team they were the previous year, like last year. Right. That was a, right. a machine of a team where this team, I, I think, right. has shown some, you know, vulnerabilities. But, you know, we just looked at it with Michigan. Like, this is the time to this is the time to take advantage. And you got the you got TCU as the three seed, you know, and it and it it, it just landed pretty favorable for Michigan. So it kind of stinks that they weren't able to, um, you know, kind of put it all together against TCU. But, yeah, I, I, I would agree with you. It's it is a it's a really positive year. Um, it, you know, a lot of, a lot of good things. I mean, an undefeated regular season, you won the big 10 again. Uh, you know, you're in the college football playoff It's now two years in a row. And you look at what you and Georgia are the only two, two teams in, in the last two years to, to get there. Right. Both years. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of, a lot of good things. I, I think the, the tough part is go, is just going to always be that, that TCU game. Where because getting to a national championship is is very hard, uh, and sure. we have seen even getting to the playoff for everybody is difficult. So uh -huh. to have a, a a favorable matchup is very difficult if you're not the absolute number one seed. And I think Michigan had a favorable matchup, and unfortunately just didn't take advantage. Yeah, it's one of those things where you know um, it just you know like anything it just feels like a blown opportunity. You know, um, because the fact of the matter is, on, on, in most years, there's a hierarchy in college football. You know, um, you have your, you know, your average teams. Do you have your good teams, right? Teams are going to be anywhere from, what, let's say, 8 to 25, right? And then you have the seven, you know, I, well, I'll say six, set five through seven, which are, you know, kind of mix up this pretender or potentially contender, right? You're trying to decide between if they're pretenders or contenders. And then you have, well, actually, I honestly do. I'll lop in three through seven. I'll say are, you're trying to decide if they're pretenders or contenders. And then you have like your top two, uh, which is normally in most years, Alabama or Georgia, where it's like they're in their own class, right? Because of the, the depth, not only their starters, but their depth, right? Of their talent. Um, in which there, there tends to be a pretty good drop off between one and two and three and four. Four, right so um and so on and so forth there um this is she's apparent from the get-go that it was a lot of um i would say a, a lot more um 
I guess the word I'm looking for is um, what's the uh, starts with a P? Um, parody. Uh, well, help me out, this Parody. Thank you. There's a lot more parody with the quote unquote top top teams in college football where it seemed like wow, you know, Georgia doesn't seem like elite like they were last year. You know, Alabama seems like they got chinks in armor, right? You know, um, Ohio State. You know from the very first game versus Notre Dame, and like, wow, you know, they, they look okay, but they don't look like unbeatable, right? So you always feel like Michigan, you know what, maybe you have a chance to, you know, take a step forward this year and, and win a playoff game, maybe more. And um, that trend and, and view continued throughout the year, uh, you know, until you got to the actual playoffs, you're like, wow, they actually have a legitimate chance to win the whole thing. So from that standpoint, it, it's a blown opportunity because, you know, most years, yeah, you do have those distinct teams where it's like, even a team like Michigan, which can be really good, you know, probably doesn't have the the high end talent with enough positions uh, to probably compete uh, to win the whole thing. So uh, that that hurts. Yeah, it's it's just an odd, it's an odd situation. I, I because I, I don't think you can just take the game in a vacuum and just say, oh well, the end result you lost, like it, you know, it is what it is type of thing. I, there was just there was a lot of just self-inflicted mistakes and overall like i said when you when you look at at michigan and we talked about it in the post game they just never had any of these these mistake filled or mistake riddled games where you just look at it and you just say man they just they just didn't have it today like you didn't ha you didn't have any games like that uh you might argue the illinois game but i would still argue that your heisman trophy candidate running back you know went out at halftime so it's just it's a it's it's just it's difficult. I think if you if it's the Georgia game from last year where they were just a better team, I don't think Michigan was quite ready to 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 take that next step. You can you can live with that, but this game wasn't this game wasn't that. Like it wasn't just ah uh, well, you know, Michigan just didn't have it. It just you had mistakes, you had some poor play calling. Um and uh, it, it's just it's difficult because like I said, you didn't see this all year like no you didn't have any games like this where you would come out and just say man they're lucky to get out of that thing like it was just it, they played well they were focused all year so to have this against you know on the biggest stage when there is no tomorrow you gotta have it that's that stinks to have it happen at this time at this juncture 